Hello guys, in this video, we'll learn to deploy a Dioxys web application on Vercel. In a previous video, we discussed Vercel, server function, Vercel functions in detail. If you haven't checked out that video, it should be popping somewhere on right top. Make sure to click it, watch it. In this video, we'll learn to deploy our front-end heavy Dioxys web application on Vercel. And if you are new to this channel, or Rust, or Dioxys, or web application development with Rust. I have covered Dioxys in detail in different videos where we have understood from basics to building application, be it desktop, iOS, Android, and web application. In this specific video, we'll focus on deploying Dioxys application on Vercel. So if you are new, just check out the whole playlist should be popping somewhere on right top where we have also learned to deploy on other platforms as well. So without further ado, let's dive into it and let's start. I'll be using this pretty basic Dioxys application. You guys can use any other application that you have built on your own or we have built in the previous videos. If you want the same exact application, then just comment down below. I'll be happy to share. And it's pretty straightforward application where we have a text area, we can type along and we can also see the word counts. Uh, the focus should be on the deployment part, which remains same regardless. Now, first of all, we'll bundle our application using DX bundle. So let's move to the terminal. And here we'll just do dx bundle platform as web. So once the bundle is successfully finished, we have bundled our project successfully now. And now move to the project explorer and search for Vercel JSON. Here we'll add the config for Vercel. So pretty straightforward. We have to add this Vercel JSON in the root of our project. And here we'll just add version for schema as two and builds. This is to, uh, you know, what to include in our uh, deployment. So right here, we'll just do is SRC. And once we do cargo bundle, we get our bundle in the target. So we'll just do target and DX, as you can see and dx varsal which is my project name and then we can just do release web public and then everything and similarly use varsal static and once we have both of these the next thing that we have to add is route for incoming so routes and source to destination target dx and again dx serve release and web public So that's what we have to add in routes and builds. That's literally all that we need. Just to get an overview version, we are using to specify the configuration schema that defines like builds a section to include all the file in uh, our target as static assets. And then routes we use uh, to set the route for incoming requests to nested public directory, ensuring resources. So, you know, we have our WASM file and all other files. So uh, this is basically to route so that's it for all the changes that we have to make in our project like configurations and bundling and stuff to uh, make our application deployable now we'll just use Vercel cli again i've covered it in previous videos like how to install it and everything but just make sure you have it installed Vercel version we have it installed and now let's get an overview on local so we'll just do is Vercel dev and so set up and develop uh, and develop yes and then okay link to any existing project no what's your project name dx varsal in which directory okay so let's wait okay here you go as you can see it's ready and served on localhost 3000 here you go the first look of our application and as you can see as we type along keeps on counting the words and as we remove it removes the word but the purpose here is we are able to successfully ourselves dev our application and now let's get back to the terminal 
so back to our terminal and here now we'll just do parcel so here you go the build is succeed and here you go we have our application up and running on Vercel. now there may be tons of other ways as well which we'll tap along as we go in the future videos the purpose was that we can deploy our dioxys application on Vercel, you can serve your projects and in the future videos we'll also build you know kind of a full stack application where we have our uh, server functions serving our data or resources in Rust, and we'll deploy in Vercel functions and our front end using Vercel. So that's it for this video guys. I hope you guys understand and learn something new. If you do, like the video, share with your friends. I'll catch you guys in another video. Until then, bye-bye.